Hi hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I am really sorry about last video. And I'm not sorry about it, because I wanted to actually say what I was going to do, but... Hopefully this video will be more purely based on focus. So yes. Well yes, well boy howdy. Rank 4 in the Glitz Pit, Crawdaddy! He's at least one special move, so Crawdaddy is the same guy that we saw outside of Roadport, or at least one of his relatives. Yeah, so we're gonna want, I guess, I guess, uh, Coops? Sure. Why not? Ah! Okay. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Execution. We're gonna break Gonzalez and... The Dark Gate, the Dark Gatekeeper. That's a nice one. Um, wait, Dark Gatekeeper. Wouldn't that be like the dark, like the? Never mind. But if you play through Chapter Four, there's another Dark Gatekeeper. Kind of. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy doesn't have any defense, but his attack is certainly strong. Yes, it is. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to use by I'm gonna have to get used to uh starting to be scared of attacks that do six damage. Like in Super Mario RPG when that happens, I'm like, okay, six damage, no big deal. And now here I'm gonna actually have to say, okay, that is kind of a big deal. That'd be like if an attack did about 30 damage or 40 at the point I'm in right now in Super Mario RPG. Because yes, I'm I think it's it's looking. Maybe, maybe it will be. Maybe it'll be the first SNES slash NES game I beat. Now, of course, technically I did beat Donkey Kong, the supposedly the NES version, which was in Donkey Kong 64. We won. Cool. <sighs> Mario's ranking rose to four. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going. We can't move. Why can't we move? Oh, uh, Mario, your pocket's beeping. Mail time. Go to the telephone booth out on the pavilion from X. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be one of our longer things. So the telephone booth, huh? Wait, what? Gonzalez, good time, you pudgy little one. Uncle Rock's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing a thought like from me, you're going to enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you valley. Hmm. Wait, threatening us? Maybe that hate mail came from Rockhawk. Well, one way, yeah, that's what I was just gonna say, except for one thing. It didn't make that much sense that that would be from Rockhawk. Maybe if it said something like, Man, you think you're all that, but no, you're not. Then I would believe it was from Rockhawk. But it didn't say that. It said, I can check what it said right now, even though I know it by heart. It said, Keep sticking your faces, keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Now, how would that affect Rockhawk? I mean, what, in the popularity? Hmm. It seemed like more of somebody that was actually interested. Maybe it was Jolene. I mean, hey, she was the one that was like... But she... Jolene doesn't seem like the physical threatening type. Hmm. We got a storage key. Oh, yeah, we cannot finally open that locked door. Go to the storage room next to Grubbin's office. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room. Okay, now... Now we can get to another element of the mystery. Remember back, way back when we were in the minor league, and we saw Jolene leading Andy Bandy back into the room, or Bandy Andy, that, that's his name, Bandy Andy. Uh, she said, how many times do I have to tell you, that room is absolutely off limits. She couldn't have been talking about inside the minor league, because, well, we were in there, so she must have been talking about that room. Well, you know what, that's not true, she might have been talking about the major league locker room, or the champion's room. Because he couldn't have gone in there, but... Hmm. It... But... That room's not abs 
absolutely off limits. I mean, you can go in there under the right circumstances. So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What do you pay for? I heard a noise in there. Uh oh, is that Band Andy B Bandy Andy again? Wait a minute. Speaking of that, when we were in the minor league locker room before, did we even see him? Hmm. Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, see, she could have beaten me up right there. I mean, if she's saying, keep sticking your noses in places you don't belong, so... Well, okay. Oh, mm-hmm-hmm, we meet again, you have a husky mustache. You a friend of Gonzales? I didn't know he hung out with crooks, and you look like one. Security is talking about noises in there. Do you make noise while you stole stuff? Yeah, yeah, best burglar in the world. So, hmm. Maybe she sent one of the emails. No, she, she might have sent the cake, but not one of the emails. You know, the cake that I didn't even know what it is, but I ate it. Hmm, what's that kiss like? I think I've got to get me one of those. Yeah. Uh-oh. How do we get upstairs? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic. So maybe this X person is somebody that's listening in on our conversations. Hmm. I wonder if you can do this to break, like, a bunch of them. Yeah, you can. That's awesome. And there's the switch. Cool. But why would X want us to go in here? It's just a storage room. And why would the attic have to be so hidden? I mean, it's just an attic, right? Well, we have the charge P. That's cool, but why would the attic be so hidden? I mean, you already locked the door. Why would you need to hide the attic even more? And this door's locked, too. That's three things trying to prevent you from getting into this room. I'm guessing that something very interesting is happening in that room. And they even have boxes blocking over here, so what is it? Hmm. Whoa! We got so many things blocking this. Maybe they're just natural blockades. Maybe not. Yes, so, some more partner badges. Cool. Huh. Ah, oh, there's nothing of interest in here. Wait a minute. Why, we're right over Grubba's office. So you didn't find or... So you didn't find her or anybody in the storage room? That what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba, it appears to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. Most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal. Ain't nothing in there we've missed too much anyway. Well, that's good, because we just took two badges. Whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba? Wait a minute, I thought he just retired. KPP. Okay, now we know his actual name. Who, fighters have sure been going missing a lot. That's the fifth this year. It's cursed, I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Hmm. Yeah. You're seeing completely, Mr. Grubba, sir. I'll take care of everything. You dang fine manager, but you just plum disappear. Where in the world do you go? Uh, that's... Mr. Grubba, I don't... I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy. I mean, the pride. Heard of the Crystal Star? <gasps> no, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie. Well, appreciate... Wait a minute. Why would Grubba know anything about a Crystal Star? Well, if this ain't a fine how do you do seems like good fighters are dying to breed. That's why Chad and Zalus is just about the only draw I still got around here. Hmm. Well, Gonzales, whoa, did you hear that? Fighters gone missing, that ain't cool. Wait, I thought he retired. What in the hay? Yeah. Uh, we'll say belt. <laughs> Who know it? Just a little burping beetle. Hey, think someone's up there peeping? Here I am thinking someone's up there peeping. Yeah, yeah, back to the ring. Ah, it's a tough job, you know. Yeah, we dodged a bullet. Did you hear that guy blabbing? Yeah, and that Jolene lady did act pretty guilty. You're taking the words right out of my mouth here. So, Grubba obviously knows something about the Crystal Star. Or he at least heard it somewhere. And Jolene seemed to know about it because she's like... <gasps> 
But then she said no. Oh, thank goodness she didn't catch us. What's this? Oh yeah, that's Mr. Grubba's office. This is our locker room. Oh yeah, that's right. Video's here. I'm trying to make them 10 minutes. So, but they can be 11. Because that's what they were in the original. Yes, we'll reserve a match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Wait, what? Oh, did I not follow the thing? Well, of course I didn't. I must not have. Aw, oh, frick. Well, then I guess this is the perfect time. We'll do this battle off screen. And I'll see you after I... Once I'm battling my number three person.